I love traveling. It is one of my favorite hobbies. I love to travel because I can learn a lot about other cultures. I can see new places and try different food. Traveling is great for relaxing. When people travel, they forget about their work and their daily life. They aren't stressed when they are traveling, so it is more relaxing than being at home. You can spend time at the beach, in the mountains, or even walking around a city. Different experiences are relaxing for different people. I like going for a walk in the mountains to relax. I like seeing the green forests. And the animals in nature. Traveling is the best way to learn about other countries. You can go to museums to learn about the history and art of that country. It is more interesting than reading a book about history. Or art, you can experience the history of the place. People can visit museums and walk around the city center to look at the buildings and monuments. It is very interesting to learn about the city or the country, because then. You can understand more about the culture. It is also amazing to travel because you can create new memories. Some people like to travel alone, but others prefer to travel with their friends, their family, or their partner. It is great to take photographs during your holiday to remember those moments forever. My best travel memories are discovering new places, eating at a nice restaurant, and relaxing in nature. What is your favorite memory that you have from your travels? You can meet a lot of new people when you are on holiday. I think that when people are on holiday, they are very friendly, so it is easy to meet other people that are traveling too. Also, you can meet local people who live in that country. It is a good idea to learn how to say basic phrases in the language that they speak in that country. For example, "Thank you," "Good morning," "Goodbye." It is difficult to learn to speak the language just for a holiday, but I think that it is a good way. To be respectful and friendly. It is also a good experience to try the local cuisine. The cuisine is the style of cooking of the country. For example, if you visit Spain, you can try some paella or a Spanish omelet. It is totally different to the paellas that they sell in England. I know that there are a lot more typical foods, but these are just some typical examples. I like going to restaurants when I am on holiday because you can try food 
that you don't normally eat when you are at home. It is a good idea to ask the waiter at the restaurant what food he thinks is the best on the menu. Because sometimes when you go to a restaurant in a different country, you don't understand the menu. What is the best food that you have tried on holiday? Now we are going to go with the questions. I want you to write the answers in the comment box and I will correct them. The first question is, what countries have you visited? I have visited a lot of countries in Europe. I would say that I have visited about 10 countries in Europe but I would like to go to America one day and discover some places in Asia, especially the places that have nice beaches. The second question is, what is your favourite memory that you have from your travels? I think that my favourite memory that I have from my travels is being at the beach when the sun is going down. So at 8 or 9 o'clock in the summer, the beach is beautiful, the sun is going down and it is very relaxing. The third question is, what is your favourite thing to do on your travels? My favourite thing to do on my travels is to go for long walks in nature. I prefer the mountains to the beach. I think that it is more interesting and exciting to be active. When you are on the beach, you are sitting down a lot of the time and I think that it is more boring. And the final question is, what is the best food that you have tried on holiday? I think that the best food that I have tried on holiday is a pizza that I had when I went to Rome. It was delicious and it is the best pizza I have ever eaten. So, do the same as me, answer the questions and write them in the comment box so that I can correct them. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.